Good morning. Welcome to the Clecker and Coffrin classroom. It is Thursday, May 14th, 2020, and we're working on our last letter book. And guess what? It's our last letter book story, and it's my favorite. So, we all know how Tig is a trickster, right? Well, today, Tig comes up with a plan, and he is trying to play a trick on Doll. So we're going to read our story and see if Tig's trick actually works on Doll or if it doesn't. So the name of our story today is called The Big Dragon. So we're the, the, big, big, now watch dragon, dragon. How many syllables? Two syllables. Dragon. The big dragon. We're going to go over a couple of um, vocabulary words before we read our story so that we will have ease in reading them. All right, the first one is p l an. Well, did sound an. Plan. Plan. Next one is t r i k. Trick. C k at the end of a word after a short vowel is heard. We heard short vowel i, so we know that c k follows t. R ick trick s ick remember x makes the x sound six s ox c k at the end of a word s ox socks oh here's another two syllable word watch it blanket they know that you're getting really great at reading so the words are getting harder and now we're moving on to two syllable words blanket blanket. All right, come up here and we have another two syllable word, ribbons. Rib, r, i, b, b, ons, ribbons. Another two syllable word, basket. B, as, k, et, basket. S, t, i, x, sticks. C, k at the end of a word. T r a n k trunk. D r a gun dragon dragon two syllable word. D r a g on dragon the big dragon. All right, I need for you to get your letter back, and we're going to be starting on page ten. So remember. What I would advise you to do before you read this yourself, go back and look just at the illustrations. See if you can figure out what's happening by just looking at the pictures without reading the words. I see them looking at a picture of something. It looks like they're trying to figure something out, and I see a dragon on it. Now I see Ted gathering lots of mater materials. I see some green cloth that looks like he's got a bunch of socks. I see Ed sort of doing the same. He's got a mop and a basket, and there's some ribbons coming out of that basket. There's Tig. He's got a pillow. I see him with some paints in his hand. So hmm, they're all gathering things. Then if we flip over, we see them painting something and creating something. Ted looks like he's being kind of silly. He's got a basket on his head. <gasps> look. Wow. What's it starting to look like? Kind of looks like a dragon, right? You see the hump in the dragon's back? Wow. All right. I'm not going to show you the last page because you might figure out the ending, and I don't want that to happen. I want you to be surprised. So we're going to be reading The Big Dragon. I want you to follow along in your book and read with me as we read. Tig has a plan. P -l -an. Tig has a plan. It will tr -r -ick trick doll. It will trick doll. So Tig's got a plan. He's trying to trick doll. Ted gets six socks and a big blanket. Mm, so that's what Ted was gathering. Ed gets a mop, a rag, ribbons, and a basket. So he's got a mop, he's got a rag, and he's got a ribbon, and he put it in the basket. Tig gets a bag. Now, 
now we've got some picture words. A pillow, green and yellow paint, and scissors. Okay, so they're all gathering material. Let's flip over and see what they're doing. Tick gets in the bag. Ted adds the mop and green and yellow paint. The bag is a mask. Do you see how they use the mop for the hair on the mask? All right, let's see what it says. Ed sticks ribbons on his trunk. Ted gets in the basket. So Ted's put the basket on his head and Ed has tied ribbons to the end of his trunk. Ted sets the blanket on Ed. Tig cuts the pillow and spills the fuzz. So he's pulling the fuzz out of that pillow. The odd dragon has six legs and a hump. You see its hump right there? In its back. So the odd dragon has six legs and a hump in its back. All right, let's turn around and see what happens. There's the dragon. There's doll. The dragon zigs and zags. It spits fuzz. See the fuzz coming out of the dragon's mouth? Doll just claps and claps. Did the big dragon trick doll? So we want to ask it like this. Did the big dragon trick doll? What do you think? I don't think so. She was clapping and clapping. Was she scared? No. I think she knows who's, who is making up the dragon, right? I think she knows that Ted and Tig and Ed are underneath that green fabric and that they're the dragon. So I want you to read the big dragon. Then you're going to flip over to page 13 and answer some questions. So we're going to have to be reading some words and deciding which word completes the sentence. And so sometimes you have nonsensical sentences. They don't make sense. You want your sentences to make sense. So let's see if we can make the best choices. So let's read them together and see if we can figure this out. The dragon has six oh, eggs or eggs. Did the dragon have six eggs or did it have six legs? White legs. So we're going to go up here. Oh, eggs and do a two o'clock dot and circle legs. All right, the dragon put eggs or zigs and zags. Did it pigs and zags? No. Did it zigs and zag? Yes. So we're gonna circle zigs. So I'm looking for that beginning sound, z, z, eggs, and circle zigs. All right, let's move down our next sentence. The dragon, dragon, or the wagon, dragon or wagon, spits fuzz. Was there a wagon spitting fuzz? No. Was there a dragon? Yes. So we're looking for a beginning sound, d, d. Remember donut. So we're going to circle the word dragon. All right, let's go to the last one. Doll did not run and bell, bell or y. L. F, L, S, and Z rule. You see those double L's? Because we have E, short vowel. So both those words end in double L, but remember it's only one sound. So did doll not run and bell? What does that mean? Or did she not run and yell? She didn't run and yell. Yeah, yeah. So we're looking for Y, and we're going to circle the word yell. Two o'clock out. Give yourself a check plus. I want you to read the big dragon many times. I've been listening to some of you read uh, the last few days and you're doing a beautiful job. So what I want you to concentrate on now is picking up your fluency and your speed. And that means being able to read a word quickly and blend it very quickly. So I would, for example, if I were reading dragon, I might break it apart and say on. But then I want to blend it really quickly. Dragon, dragon. So I want you to go back and read The Big Dragon many times until you can read it really easily. Um, and then you need to flip over and answer those questions that we just went through and select the correct word to finish the sentence. I will see you tomorrow.
for the last day of letter book. Tomorrow's it. And we're finished. You did the entire set of letter books. Have a great afternoon and I'll see you tomorrow for our last letter book lesson.